guys! Today I'm going to be talking about very popular books, especially here on booktube, that I own but I have not read and that are not of the contemporary variety. So these are all like dystopian and fantasy books that I own and I just have not gotten to. They're all YA and they're all just very very popular books that I have not gotten to and I figured in doing this video that many of you will run down to the comments and tell me which ones I need to pick up ASAP and tell me which ones I can kind of wait on. So I thought this could be a helpful video for me personally because I mostly read contemporary as you guys know and you guys can kind of steer me in the right direction. So I have 10 books to show you guys that I own that are very popular and I just have not gotten to yet but I want you to influence me to read them. Go in the comments right after this video and tell me what I need to read but yeah I'm gonna get started and show you guys the 10 books. The first book that I have to show you guys is one that mostly every person in the whole world has read and I just have not gotten to. I'm sure a lot of you guys know where this is going. Yeah, I have not read Harry Potter, but I recently picked up this nice hardcover edition of the first book in the series, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and yeah, I want to read the series, I need to do it because like, everyone and their mother has read Harry Potter, so it's just something that is gonna get done eventually, but I just haven't had the want to pick it up, I don't know, like... I don't know, just tell me down below how much you need to read this book. I know, I get a million comments every single time I mention that I haven't read Harry Potter. The comments are like, you need to, like, I understand, I understand, trust me, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. So Harry Potter is my first one on the list. Next one is a book that I really want to start, but I just have not gotten to it yet, and that is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas, and I also have not read the Throne of Glass series, but this is the only Sarah J. Maas book that I own, and I actually attempted to start this book one time, like, when it first came out, and I just couldn't get into it. I don't know if it was like just my mood of the day. I didn't feel like reading it or just what. But I really want to read this book because I've heard nothing but amazing things. I mean I've heard some bad things but mostly amazing things and I just really think it sounds interesting. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling which I think sounds phenomenal and I really want to get to it. I just haven't done that yet and the second book just came out and I know everybody's been reading it. So yeah this is something that I definitely need to get to. Let me know your thoughts down below. Next book is The Knife of Never Letting It Go by Patrick Ness and this is a book that I've owned for quite a while now and I just have not gotten to. I've heard such amazing things about Patrick Ness. I met Patrick Ness, he autographed one of my other books I have of his, still haven't read that one either, but this is the series that I think sounds very intriguing and I've heard a lot of people give wonderful reviews on it and I just have not gotten to it yet. I don't know if I'm just intimidated because it's like a, a big series. I think that's the case for a lot of these is that they are series and if I start the first one I'm gonna have to finish it sometime and it's just so many books but I really do want to get to this one. I've heard incredible, incredible things and the premise sounds like something I've absolutely never read before. So yeah, this needs to get done. Next one is Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. This is another one of those that's just a huge series that it's kind of intimidating to have to start a whole new series and read the whole thing, but you know, I think I could do it. I'm kind of past my vampire phase, but I've just heard such amazing, amazing things about this series and I've heard it's so fun, so I feel like I would definitely enjoy it. I also have yet to read a book by Rochelle Mead. I own this, I own The Glittering Court, and I own Soundless, and I haven't read any of them, so I definitely need to pick one of them up soon, but I think this is going to be the one I pick up first. I'm excited for this one, I just have not picked it up. I think that's kind of the case with all these books, honestly. The next one is the book that I have tried to read like five times and just have not been able to get into it, and it's also so highly requested for me to read this series on my channel, and that is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, or the Mortal Instruments series. And now, this is my brother's favorite series of all time, like, favorite, and he has told me to read this series since it first came out. He read it, like, before all the books were out. He was obsessed with them, he still is, and I still still haven't read them. Like, this book has been in my possession for years and years and years, and I have not read it yet. And I will tell you, I have read the first chapter, I think, five times, and I just haven't been able to finish it. I don't know what it is. I've watched the movie, and I've seen some of the TV show, which I've heard mixed reviews on, obviously, but I don't know. There's just something about me that can't get into this series, but there's also a part of me that needs to read it, because I've just heard such amazing things about it, and I want to be in on all of the, like, Mortal Instruments stuff that I'm not in on, and I, like, act like I am because I've watched the show but I'm not, and I just really want to be a part of that, you know, I feel excluded, so yeah, I've just heard such amazing things about it, but I've also heard like a couple people say that it's just not for them, and I really hope I'm not one of those people, because I want to read this whole series, I want to read The Infernal Devices, and I want to read, you know, Lady of Midnight, I just want to be included, okay? Next book I have is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, and this is one that I just need to get to, especially because the movie is coming out, I just saw the trailer recently for that one, and it looks so amazing, and I didn't know that was like the premise of the book, 
I just thought it was like this creepy weird book I had no idea what it really was about but after seeing the preview for the movie I think it sounds absolutely wonderful and yeah I just need to get to it I've had this book for a while now and I don't know I'm gonna get to it soon I promise Next book I have is I Am Number 4 by Pitticus Lore, and this is a book that was actually recommended to me by one of my real life life friends, and she read the series thus far because I don't think it's a finished series yet, and she really, really enjoyed it. I've heard that this book is kind of comparable to the Luck series by Jennifer Armentrout, which is one of my favorite series of all time, so I feel like I would definitely enjoy this if that is the case. So if any of you guys have read the Luck series and you have read this, or you might know something about them, if they're similar or anything like that, definitely let me know because if this is similar to Lux, then I want to read it and I want to read it soon because Lux was such a fun, enjoyable series for me. So if it's anything like this, I'll definitely pick it up soon. The next book I have is one that I don't think is as popular as some of them that I've showed you already, but one that I've still heard a lot of people talking about, and that is The Program by Suzanne Young. This is one that I think sounds very interesting. It's a dystopian book, which are kind of going out, I feel like, but one that I feel like I need to read. And a couple of my real life life friends have read this one and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. So, you know, I want to pick it up. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on this one if any of you guys have read it, but it's one that is on my list. Next one is kind of random, but one that I saw on my shelf that I've heard lots of things about but just haven't gotten to, and that's Schizo by Nick Sheff. This is a little bit lesser known amongst all these other books that I'm showing you, but it's a very interesting concept that I really want to read. I think it's a standalone novel as well, and most of these have been series, if not all of them, but it's one that I definitely need to get to. I've heard so many things about, so if you've read this one, let me know, but yeah, I think it would be an interesting read. And I've had this one on my shelf for a while now, so it's about time I get to it. And the last book I have to show you guys is The Wrath and the Dawn by Rani Ahid, and this is one that I got in like a subscription box and I have wanted to read it for the longest time now. I've heard so many amazing things about it and it just sounds like such an interesting book and premise and just I feel like I would really like it because it sounds like the kind of book that's like not a contemporary but has contemporary like aspects to it like romance and stuff like that. So this is one that I definitely need to get to soon. I'm very excited about it. I know the second book already came out so definitely let me know everything down below your thoughts on it and all that so I can get to this one soon. So that is going to be my 10 most popular books that are sitting on my shelf that I have not read yet that are not contemporary because I do have a lot of contemporary popular books that I have not gotten to yet. I'm going to be doing a contemporary TBR pretty soon so I thought all that aside I would just do these books, the fantasy, dystopian, sci-fi, all those kinds of things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, let me know down below all of your thoughts on any of these books or ones that you're excited to get to, any popular books that you haven't read, that you feel shamed for, anything like that. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. But other than that I hope you're all having an absolutely wonderful day and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye! Well, my boyfriend.